because I'm tired. I'm tired of not standing my fucking ground. And I'm going to stand firm on that shit. I'm going to stand firm on it. All right. And I'm saying this before this gets on the tee, right? So people have figured out. People has figured out where I am. And it's funny because I have always said I wanted to just be discreet, but people are reporting where I am or reporting, you know, what's going on to the T or whatever, Report just reporting it. And it's all right. I know it's going to come out anyway. Apparently, God doesn't want me to be in hiding, apparently. And I had to do my cries about it and everything like that, but I'm good. There was a picture posted yesterday on Dr. Umar's Instagram of me. And he's signing my very first Juneteenth motherfucking t-shirt. My very first t-shirt, he signed it on my back. And that was one of the most happiest moments in my life because he's a very powerful man. And I sat there at my job where I worked, where I, and now I probably have to fucking quit because now people know where I fucking work. You can see my t-shirt with the name of the restaurant I work at. People have the audacity to go online and go on this man's page on his, on his, on his page with my picture and said, oh, don't fuck. Oh, if you're trying to hit double wrapped up the condom. Oh, she out here in these, in these streets, in these conscious community streets. Oh, she's, she a thought she, oh, her pussy oozing and goozing. As if I don't take care of my fucking shit. As if I don't fucking take care of my shit. As if I would ever let my shit go to waste and stay like that. Like these other bitches are. As if I would ever. I put myself into toxic ass situations. Yes, I've done the worst things to my yoni. Yes, but what's going to take y'all to stop talking about the shit? As if I would e I'm taking my antibiotics. I took my shit. I had to stop taking after three days because it was making my body really drained it was it was really doing the dust on me but don't mean i'm not doing shit i'm taking my cmos every day and i'm tired I'm, I'm tired i'm tired and i won't the thing is i keep telling myself i'm not gonna speak on it i'm gonna just let them talk about what they need to talk about i'm not gonna speak on it but fuck that bro my fucking with nature boy was one of one of I would say I'm grateful for the experience and grateful for you know whatever it did for my life when it comes down to publicity. But it was one of the worst decisions I have ever fucking made to in my life because now I was gonna do this all by myself. I was gonna do it on my own. I was gonna do it on my own. I was gonna go to fucking Thailand. No, not Thailand. I was gonna go to Bali. Bali, Indonesia. They become a, a, a yoga teacher. But I decided to go to to Carbonation instead. And let me get this straight. Let me set this straight. I don't keep going back. I went back once, just like Tori did. I went back once. You want to see someone who went back over four times? That's velvet. I went back once. As if I don't take care of my shit. As if, as if I'm going to keep it that way. I've had a bad time understanding myself i did not go back twice i went back once i went there left and i went back one time and it doesn't matter how many times i went back i'm gone now y'all should be happy i'm gone now we live and we learn exactly i don't got no and the thing is my thing is Whoever I have in my bedroom, regardless of who it is, is none of y'all motherfucking business. So to think that y'all need to, to warn people about me, 
I'm not out here burning bitches. Nature Boy is the one you should be fucking worried about. I ain't out here burning bitches. Never. I'm not. Ever. I'm not out here burning bitches. If you want, and I'm, I'm so, I'm so, the only thing I apologize for is not a lot, is, is allow myself, presence myself to allow myself to go back to that shit. To where my yoni had to go through the hell again. And not warning people. Then they go out here burning bitches. Straight up burning. And now I'm warning, yes, because we got to protect our women. We got to protect our women. We have to. Before you go, this, remember what I said. And I'm not taking it back this time. I've never, and that's another thing I'm going to clear up. Because I'm, I'm tired of protecting these niggas. He don't know that I was protecting him when I was with him. But the order that I said, the order that I said I had slept with, still remains to be true what he tried to do was make it a lie make it seem like i lied about it say i spread rumors and i never did and i protected his ass when i was there mind fucked feeling guilty about being there and and have said what i said and exposed the truth he made me a liar when i'm not Thank you for the love, whoever did that. Thank you for the love. He made me out to be a liar. Yes, he burnt me. Niggas burning out niggas out here. Yes. When, when, when he was done with me, that shit was not smelling right. When he was done with me, that shit was not, it was not a right all, at all. My shit, I had to tell the women. And he was like, oh, well. And then when I told the women, and this is the last time I'm ever gonna talk about my yoni because I know my yoni is good now because I'm, I'm taking my shit. I'm doing what I need to do. But I would never ride for a nigga like that. I would never, ever. I would never ride for a nigga like that. Nigga out here burning bitches and saying, and, and having them thinking like, oh, it's a, it's a normal fucking thing. Oh, you're just, you're just going through toxic thoughts and da 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 nah, get your fucking ass checked. Had the women out there checking their vaginas every fucking day. Malia, smelling herself and actually thinking it's good to smell like that. I'm tired of holding my fucking throat. I'm tired of it. Releasing the shit. I'm tired of it. Niggas don't know I'm live. I'm tired of it. I gotta protect my women out here. I'm protecting my goddesses out here. And I'm a to protect. And the thing is, it's not even just that. I want the men out here too. I want the men out here who is who knows how to heal, who had a father and mother in their life, or probably didn't even have those, but know how to to heal and to be and treat a woman right. I want them to stick up for us too. I want them to hold their ground with us too. I want them to help these niggas out here too. Because they're mentally fucking up people in the mind. Thinking it's okay to smell bad. Thinking it's okay to, to, to be itching and burning and oozing. This girl in Millie right here is oozing out her. She's it's always leaking. And she thinks it's a, it's a really good thing. No, my lady, my lady, no, 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 no. It don't smell right. The cum don't smell right. That's why I never gave your fucking ass head. Because I never wanted to. I never wanted to taste that fish ass dick. I didn't want it. And I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of holding my fucking tongue. I'm tired of it. Y'all niggas out here playing me. Bashing me. Manipul manipulating me. And manipulating these women out here to think that you are God and you're not. If you, ooh, fucking, you're not even close to a God that's worthy to be praised. Not even close. I took care of my shit. How about y'all? Before y'all try to, be, to include more women, more wives. Take care of your shit first.
I'm tired of holding my tongue. Yeah, and, I, and I, the thing is, I didn't hold my, I hold my tongue for at least a month before I came back online. Because this nigga is telling me, don't keep my name out your mouth. But he stay having my name in his. Talking about I'm fucking pregnant. I'm not. Try to respect his ass. when I he don't, he don't deserve a fucking inch of my fucking respect. Not at all. Not at all. And I'm yes, I'm spreading awareness to the shit. Because you, you guys don't need to go back to that shit. And I don't need to go back to that shit. And I'm holding my ground this time. Fuck a, fuck a solar. Fuck a, uh, uh, uh. Whatever they got going on over there. Yes, he hit Malia while I was there. And the shit was so tra That shit was so traumatic. I didn't witness it, but I heard it. Everyone heard it. My tent was under my tent was right underneath um the balcony when I was downstairs. And she screamed to the top of her lungs to the top of her lungs to the point where I woke up out of my sleep and I tapped and this is when I was with knowledge I tapped knowledge like yo listen and he's beating the shit out of her that's why hairdresser girl left and warned me before I got there the day that I got to Puerto Rico she left because she heard him hitting her and he had an audacity to lie and say it didn't happen but she heard it happen and I heard it happen the day that I left the day that I left Puerto Rico, True. True hit Sheba. And the thing is, the thing is about it is, I'm so sorry that I didn't say nothing before. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't say I didn't expose it before, but this kid got to be exposed. I'm so I apologize for that. At my bottom of my heart, I apologize for not doing nothing when it happened. I apologize for not for not saying nothing. I apologize for not for for being a coward. I apologize for being a coward and being scared to come up and speak against that shit but Sheba you don't need to be there you don't need to be with a man that does that to you and you know that you know that for a fact I don't care what nobody says I care about these women I don't care what nobody says I care about these women I'm sorry that I never spoke up about this shit like Star did when she first came out she had a fucking knot on her face right here why you think she haven't been online he smashed her head into a wall what they got going on over there is not okay and it's not healthy and that's why I fucking left. When I was when I was figuring out a way to get out because he was not going to let me get out. He was not a plane ticket or buy me a plane ticket back to Atlanta or whatever. He wasn't going to do that for me. He said that. He said, "Yo, you figured out a way as if I had the funds, as if I had the everything." But you know what? God made me abundant just like you. God made me abundant. So I figured out a way. I figured out a fucking way. My mother helped me. My mother helped me. So the day I left, I wake up to arguing. I wake up to, and I'm hearing it in the tent. So they can't manipulate the situation as if it didn't happen. They can't t call me a liar. They can't do anything like that because everybody knows that's exactly what's going on right there. They cannot say that. My girl, my girl, Sheba got bashed, her head got bashed into a wall and she had a big old knot on her forehead and she's screaming. She's telling him she doesn't wanna be with him, but guess what? Nature boy done manipulated these men's minds so much to think that doing that to their women knows it was okay. As if they have, have the audacity to hit their for what? I don't fucking know. For going against him. For going against him. Thinking that it's okay to do that to their women. He got issues, man. He's funny as shit. Really liked his character, but he got fucking issues doing that to her. Just because they got a baby doesn't mean they need to be stay together. I'm sorry. Saying, oh, this is what he's saying to her. Oh, they, 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 this is the generation curse. They have, to, they have to stay together and work it out. No, the fuck you don't, Chiba. You can go if you wanted to, honey. You got family that love you and care for you. You got people that love you and care for you. Call them up. Get the fuck out. You don't need to stay there and be forced in a relationship that you don't even want to be in. Everybody can tell. 
And when that was happening, all I could do was cry in my own fucking tent because no one does anything there about it. Nobody. Is she screaming and no one's going to her aid? Nothing. Zoe could give her an ice patch when everything's said and done. But I was scared my fucking self. And I never spoke about Nature Boy hitting Malia or abusing her. Because I was scared my motherfucking self. So I'm waking it up on these bitches. Since y'all want to play games with my life. Fuck with your life, not mine. I got a life. And I'm willing to live it. I have the courage and I dare to be brave to live my own fucking life. And not give you my life anymore. Give my life to humanity. Because that's where, that's where the real juice is. That's where the real love is. Powerful. And I feel good doing this too. I want to protect my goddesses. I want to protect the people. And I want to protect the men. The good men out here. And you guys can see my hand is shaking because it's taking me a lot to do this. I want to protect the men out here that has a mind and don't want to go over there. That, and I'm protecting the men that wants to be a good husband, wants to be a good person for humanity, wants to do the right thing, but don't know where to go. Don't follow that nigga ass. Cause he's gonna lead you right into destruction of your own family. Thank you for the 25, whoever just donated. I didn't even, I'm not even doing this for donations. Thank you so much for the 25 bucks. I'm not even doing it for that. I'm doing this to be heard. I'm doing this to set my foot down. I'm doing this because I have so many people in my PR team telling me not to go live about carbonation, not to do, but this is my motherfucking story. And I was a part of a cult. And let me get this straight. I was a part of one cult, one. I'm not hopping to cult to cult to cult. The man that I've dated in the past secretly happened to be a cult leader's son, but he never had a cult. He was introducing me to religion. To religion that I thought was beautiful. I thought I could become a divine woman through this religion, Anonism. I thought I could. It's not, it's a religion. And that's why I, that's why I was told. And that's why I believed, willingly believed. Because I wanted something better for my life. And if you don't know what the Scorpio North Node to the Ninth House is, I hop from school, school of thought constantly. School of thoughts constantly. And that's where it, is very, it can be really dangerous. But when I stay grounded in something, like a, a, a religion or a way of life or foundation, then, you know, that's good for me. You know, and the reason why I'm speaking up about this shit is because I love myself enough to not allow anyone to ruin my life or me to ruin my life, get myself and myself in predicaments. So people can hold me accountable for if I ever decide to go back, which I won't ever, ever fucking do in my life, ever. It's a fucking joke. Whatever they got going on is a joke. It's not helping humanity. It's not. Men, all y'all doing is freaking doing music and everything like that. When will you guys, the, 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 the brothers that I actually care about, when would you stand up for yourself and stand up for people around you and say, that's not okay, this is not okay? When? No, there isn't. So... I'm tired. I'm gonna tell my truth. I'm gonna own my truth because it's the truth. And it's sickening that our own people, the women at that, are bashing me online for having a powerful man, a powerful man right next to me. The people that I have, I, or I take pictures with, 
the people that I take pictures with going on go, doesn't mean that I'm fucking them. I'm not that type of person, bro. I'm not that type of person. Who, who's to say? <clears throat> and the, another thing, I just, the people who don't fuck with me, please, please stand up for myself. Please stand for me. Please stand for me. You got people out here on my using my photos with beautiful, powerful people bashing my name when I attract beautiful, powerful people because I am a beautiful, powerful person. And I will never, ever, ever in my life, ever again, allow someone to narrate who I am any longer and portray me to be this person any longer. I won't ever sabotage myself any longer. Maybe in different ways. Maybe I have some type of other lessons to learn. But we're all learning it, ill. All learning it. We're all learning lessons. I'm just upset with myself that I didn't come out with it sooner. I would never, ever go back to a man like that. Because I have garnished enough self-control. I have garnished enough self-love and self-worth. In the little amount of time that I've been gone, I've been doing the fucking work. And I'm just that powerful. And I'm going to continuously, the work doesn't stop. I'm going to have to continuously do it. I have to continuously do it just like you. And I, I don't come, I'm not here for the prissies, the pretty Miss Prissies out there that's 35 to 50 years old with no, with a fucking wet hole, fucking stiff ass weave on your head, having the audacity and no, and have no fucking no artistic thumb in your body to have a good makeup foundation on to talk about my shit any longer. No, -uh, not me. I'm standing my ground. I'm a beautiful fucking goddess. And I know that now. I haven't, I didn't know that before. There's many, many reasons why I left. And there's no reason why there should be many, many reasons to leave and you still stay there. I'm not here for the mini prissies. I'm not here for the 35, 45, 55 year olds, 65 year olds. I have a judgment on my life. I'm here for the young women. <clears throat> I'm here for the young women that's, that has, did a whole lot of shit in their life. Been with men that did not, did not see their worth because they didn't see their worth themselves. I'm here for those women to tell you that you are beautiful, you're a goddess, and you are a lotus. What is a lotus? A beautiful flower that grows through the muck and becomes beautiful in the sunlight, in the light. I'm here for them. That's my lotus gang. My lotus gang. Let's go. Lotus gang. That is my lotus gang. Right there. Power in the lotus. I'm here for them. I'm here for you. I'm here to tell you you're beautiful and you can stand firm in your confidence, bruh. You can stand firm in your confidence. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how to be confident because I'm doing the work to be confident myself. And once I'm, I'm perfected, you know, you gotta practice it and you gotta perfect it. Once I'm perfected in it, I'm gonna become a fucking confidence coach, a life coach, because I've gone through many experiences. I've gone through so much experiences in my 20s than, I, than anybody else has gone through their whole fucking life. And I know my purpose on this earth is to be a powerful speaker, to be a healer. Healers are he still healing too. I know that I'm here to do that. So when I attract powerful people, like Dr. Umar in my life, which I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I just happened to work that day. I didn't even know I was gonna work that day. I was sitting here trying to get out of work. I was sitting here trying to get out of it. Like what, a Sunday? Ah, oh, Sunday is my holy day. I can't do that. Oh, happened to be his book signing and lecture. T listen to it powerful got a picture and that's it mind your fucking business bro and stop making narratives that you don't know nothing about know nothing about so i don't give a fuck who talks about me from this point on because i'm not gonna keep doing this yo i seen a beautiful goddess the other day standing her ground and it inspired me to stand mine because 
Niggas out here got her fucked up. And I'm not gonna allow people to have me fucked up out here. Rose, one of them, the one of them people that had me fucked up out here, I'm, I did my best not to call her a bitch because she lied on me. She lied on me, dead ass lied on me for her fucking clout. And I cannot stand a bitch like that. I cannot stand it. I can't stand a bitch ass nigga that put me to the, to the back, pushed me to the back when I need to be in the forefront. Invest in my, invest in me. And then all they have to say is, oh, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. Hell no. I don't act like a hoe and y'all know that. Y'all know that. I go into situations and here's my thing. I might be little, I was a little ditzy in my head thinking that I can, I can go into uh, relationships and they really, really fucking care about me. But here's the thing. How, I, how I've carried myself in the past and I have, I have, I had slept and I have been with men. However, I've never ever had the ill intention with it. I've always wanted love. My mom's in the fifth house. I feel secure within relationships, love and romance. I feel emotionally secure in relationships and love and romance. That's how I am. That's just how I am. And I'm learning not to always put myself in those situations. You know what I'm saying? He never said, what? Oh, you know what? I don't give a fuck what Night Your Boy does. I never wanted to be with him like that in the first place. I saw the potential, like I told you, I see potential in niggas of where we can be, the empire we can build, what we can do for each other, all this other stuff. I saw it. Just like I can see with any other nigga. So I was like, okay, I'm, I can put the time and invest into that. I could try to do that. My mind, my heart wouldn't let me. Because that's not where I was supposed to be. And never will I ever try to be there ever again. I don't want to be in, like with a nigga like that. Who would ever want to be? Who in their right mind would ever want to be with a nigga like that? When the, the people, the women in carbonation are drooling over him like he's some kind of God that's worthy to be praised. And he's not. Never fucking again. I had to learn myself worth. I had to learn my worth. And I have, like I said, plenty of times, I'm gonna keep saying that, I have more fucking talent in my motherfucking right thumb than all you bitches that try to talk shit about me. I'm a goddess. God is. I create. I'm a courageous. I know my power, and I'm going to stand firm in it, and I'm going to continue to grow in my power. <laughs> I'm going to continuously grow in my power to those who want to hate. Solar did want me for your fucking information, so hold your fucking tongue Get or get the fuck out. He did want me. He did. Oh, yeah, he did. He couldn't be with me because he allowed me to a man to run his fucking life. But if he really wanted me, and if he really loved himself, he would have did what he needed to do to be with a soulmate that could be his potential wife. And be someone who actually loved the shit out of him. Love him to his greatness. And that's what I, that's all I ever wanted to do for a man. But I can't do that for a man if I can't put that into myself first. And that's why I want to teach the women, do that for yourself first before you decide to try to do that for a man. Because when you put it into yourself first, you're going to attract a man who's going to do that for you because that's what you're putting out. Yeah, I could have loved him to his greatness. But a devil will never allow that to happen, will never allow true love to be in his vicinity. Because that's what a woman is supposed to do. A woman is the visionary. That's what a woman is. She has the vision and she has the portal. She has the magic to make it happen. But if you sit around fucking with a, a bitch that don't love you, who's tolerating you, who don't care for your feelings or emotions, and I'm not pointing out to anybody, I'm just saying in general, you will have your life fucked up. Who's just tolerating you, who don't really truly care about you or love you. You will have your life fucked up. I'm tired. I've been the I've been the user and I've been the abused. I'm tired. I know what it, how it goes because I've been on both spectrums. I've used men and I've been abused by them. 
and no longer should I ever do that. I, it's so tiring, it's so draining. And that's why I went in the first damn place. I'm like, I don't even wanna deal with these niggas. I wanna be in love. I wanna be in love with someone who says they love me, who knows they can love me. And that's what Sola was doing in my fucking inbox. And I'm still healing from that shit. And when you have a spiritual connection with someone, it's, it, it, it's deeper than physical, it's deeper than the surface. So that's something I had to let go for my self growth. And it's not fair and it's not funny to make fun of it. So I had to let go of the idea of having a baby I didn't go with the idea of having a family because that's what I want. I want a family. I want a family. I want a child. I want to love that child. I want to raise that beautiful child. But I have to raise myself first. And I wanted to have it with a man that really truly loves me. And I'm going to attract that. And I'm going to get that regardless if I'm in carbonation or out of it. I'm going to get that shit. And my story isn't over. It's just a fucking beginning. And y'all bitches who out here have the audacity to speak on my fucking name. Like y'all know me. Y'all don't know me. Think of fucking me again. You don't know me. You don't. So please, please try to get to know me. Stay a little longer. Instead of seeing the narrative that they have online. Stay a little longer and you'll see the type of person I am. I'm a golden person. I'm a person of gold. That's why I shine. That's who I am to the core, and I'm not allowing anybody to have their fucking pissed ass narratives about me any longer. Keep that shit over there. People who really fuck with me, please defend my ass. Because they're out here on people's pages bashing me, saying I'm still oozing and goozing when that's not the truth. Saying, oh, she's been ran through when it's not the truth. I, I should, okay, I've been through with a lot of men. I'm not run through though. Why do you think that these niggas want this puss? Excuse my language, let me get not get ghetto here. But still, still got some niceness to it, honey boo boo child. <sighs> the fuck? And I'm trying not to, and that's why I haven't been watching um, what's going on on the teas and everything like that. But the moment I saw that on Dr. Uma's page, it, it made me cry. Because it's not just... It's not the white women doing it to us. It's the black women. You know what I'm saying? And I don't do anything for clout. I don't need the clout. I don't need the clout. Baby, I shine like a star anyway, regardless. People gonna watch me regardless because that's who I am. I'm a star. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. The reason why I'm not famous yet is because I, I had to learn my lessons. I had to come for y'all, maybe. I had, I had my, I'm going to sign certain souls. I'm going to sign certain souls. I'm a superstar, baby. Talent out the wazoo. I know who I am. And a nigga who knows my value and worth who never ever would have put me in a fucking basement in the first place, nigga. The fuck? Y'all gonna see though. I haven't been putting on my talents like that. But y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. And I'm excited. I'm gonna invest myself in a mic. I'm gonna get a mic. I'm gonna start doing um, lives where I can, little concerts to sing for you guys and do my passion. And that, that's making me wanna cry. Cause that's what I love to do. That's what I love to do. I love to sing. I like to dance. I love art. I love music. And I love people. I love people hard. I love people so hard. I want the best for them. I, I keep people in my imagination. I keep people in my visions. I keep people in my meditations. Praying for people. Calling on forces to help people. That's the type of person I am. So the person I am, if you have me in your life, Trust and believe me, you're going to prosper. You're going to grow. I've prayed for people. I've seen blessings happen in their life. And I'm thankful for that. I'm a praying woman. 
I love to pray. I love to meditate. I love to sit out in nature. I like to ground. I love to call upon my angels. I love to, to, to dance. I love to be a goddess. And for so long, I've given my, my, myself for a man, thinking that my only function, oh, my only worth is to just serve a man my whole fucking life. No, not me, not me, not me, not me. And I never stole any money from my grandmother. So you can nip that in the butt. All that is false. All that is fake. I wouldn't even know how to get into my grandma's account. I don't even talk to my grandma like that on some financial shit unless I'm paying her money. I've never ever in my fucking life did that. And the person who spread those rumors about me, Prince George, the, the person that spread those rumors about me is a fucking trip. Why would you say that? When all I did was said the truth about our fucking relationship. And that shit hurt. No one in my family said that. Nobody. They made fake. And this is what people with no fucking lives do. They would sit there and make. And I got that. I got the screenshots. I've got some people who, who reported to me about that. And I've seen who said it. They, they created a fake conversation between my sister and someone else saying, oh yeah, mommy, um, I want to see if I have the screenshots. I, I can't pull them up right now, but saying that mommy, uh, I had to tell mommy this and da, 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 about da, 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 da. like pretending to be my sister with, and I showed my sister the screenshot and she was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even type like that. And that's the first thing I said. Like, my sister don't even type like that. I know my sister. She would never do that to me. And when people are saying, oh, and chick like saying, oh, oh, reach out to your sister. She misses you. I talk to my sister every fucking day. She need to keep my name on her fucking, off her fucking page. The people is writing for Nateri Janae. They were writing for Janae Alexandria. That's a fact. Y'all can have Nateri. Nateri has never been what y'all portrayed her to be, and, I, and that's in and it's in my chart that I'm I'm kind of misunderstood, but it's okay, it's okay, because the real is going to see me, the real is going to see me. So, Janae, period, that's a fact. So, shut up, Rose. Get the fuck out my room. Like you are a a a, a nosy ass, dusty ass bitch. That don't need to be in my fucking room talking about run my apology. I don't owe you no fucking shit, no apology, nothing, no thing, nobody. What do you mean? I don't even know you. We don't never have no fucking private conversations. I don't fucking know you, bro. How you met you off a fucking bego and supported you because you was a powerful goddess. That's what I thought. You spoke your mind, which I really, really fucking admired. And I like your Taurus attitude. I like that. I like that. But sitting, sitting here trying to lie on me and pretend like you fucking know me, then you fucking don't. Sit, get the fuck out my room. Get the fuck out of my room. She's already kicked the fuck out. Get the fuck and stay out off of, off of every single platform. Rose ass, get out of here. I'm not playing no more. I'm calling y'all bitches out. And I, and I, and I say a bitch because that's what she is. A clout chasing ass bitch. What was the point of her going over to TKO's house? Oh, that's, that's so big. No, bitch, it's not. Sit the fucking ass down. Go eat a fucking rib or some shit. Like, leave, my, leave me alone. And I'm never this rude. I'm never this rude. But I'm tired of niggas like that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about niggas because you have a nigga-ass attitude. And I, Because I don't like rivalry. That's in my chart. I don't like rivalry. And I don't like starting alt altercations. But, bitch, I am not playing with you no more. I will handle that ass. Now, leave me the fuck alone and get out my fucking page. Stay off. Stay the fuck off. You're going to watch this. You're going to watch this on the TV. You're going to watch this somewhere. Stay off my page. Stay away. Get my, keep my name out your fucking mouth. Because you're lying about me. Because anybody who's ever known what I said about Nature Boy and our sex, that was the first lie I noticed. I've never said I never liked it. But you lied and said, oh, it wasn't even like that. Like you said, we had a private conversation. Nah, bitch, like, get out of here. And I'm not gonna give you no more of my energy. God. 
it's, and you know what? It's gonna be so funny in the in the future. This all this is gonna be so hilarious because the ones who really ride it for me gonna see me prosper because prosperity is in that's confirmation. Prosperity is in me. Is I'm meant to prosper. That's why I can go on and on. I can go through situations and you know I've self sabotaged myself, but I was able to bounce right the fact back bounce right back up because I have prosperity in me. I'm not, I cannot give up on myself. Even when I do, excuse myself, when I have given up on myself before, I can never completely give up on myself because my spirit is too big for that. My purpose is too big for that. The, 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 the blessing and the plan that God has on my life is too big for this. Bull, we go bullshit and all this other stuff. I'm here for the people I'm here for and that's it. I'm here for the people I'm here for. I'm here to inspire. So y'all can call me a hoe. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. But fucking believe that I'm a prosper regardless of what y'all think about me. No, I don't know what that means. Huh? Who's reporting me? Can y'all throw um, um, flowers in the building? Throw hearts up in the building. Throw hearts up in the building. Throw hearts up. Throw hearts up. Throw hearts up. Throw hearts up. The pink ones is nice. I like the pink ones. The pink double horns, that's nice. Oh, why is he reporting me? But uh, can someone kick him out then? Sorry, Teddy. If you're really reporting me, I can't. I cannot. I can't um, allow you to report me. I can't allow the, the bullshit. I, I have a mission. I, I've got too much things to be doing right now. So, yeah, I'm setting the record straight. I'm releasing everything off my chest because I know what it's like to be used and abused. I know what it's like to be the abuser. I know what it's like to be the manipulator and I know what it's like to be manipulated. And I know what it's like to be hit to the point where, and I'm not saying I was hit by him, I'm talking about someone else, to the point where I'm flinching in their presence and they get mad about it. And, and you don't know, understand why you're getting mad because I'm freaking flinching. Because I don't know when you're going to inflict harm on me. I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to be down and out. I know what it's like to be talked about, bashed on. And I'm here for the women that really want something to happen in their life. I've been going through some toxic cycles. They need to know how to get out of it, how to break it, how to become worthy in self. Like think about how their life could be without a certain person in their life. And thinking like um, how their life could be when they believe in themselves. I'm here for them. I'm here for y'all. Cause we're doing this together. I'm here for y'all.